One of the first mice to really impress me was the Zowie EC2A. It's still a personal favourite, so I'm glad I get to use it again for review purposes. I'll be looking at the white version in this video, and comparing it to the EC1A, and also the black versions. It's essentially the same mouse, but there are some minor improvements to the shell and feel. So even though the white mice are basically the same, I wanted to take this opportunity to update the review format for them. There is a difference on the buttons. See when I press the min on the old EC2A? They fall short of the edge. Anyone who has their fingers hanging over the top will feel it's sharp, but on the new one, they're in line, so there's no edge sticking out. Here's a tour of the mouse so you know what it looks like. So the coat is glossy white plastic, but it retains the same 16 step scroll wheel and black side buttons. Some people find that it handles sweat better, others don't. I think it has something to do with how people grip it. This is how I hold the mouse, in fact most mice. I have the tip of my thumb placed underneath the side buttons, and my fingertips in line with the scroll wheel. Even with wet hands, I've never lost grip of the mouse. The thing I love so much about Zoe mice is the subtle brilliance in the design. I didn't even know why I liked it at first, but for some reason they just felt better than others. What I've learned since then is that they have all these little curves. Look under the side buttons for example. There's a tiny ledge there that allows you to grip the mouse, and also prevent you from slipping and hitting the side buttons. But it's so small it doesn't actually get in the way when you do want to press them. You barely even know it's there. It's just comfortable. I usually have my thumb at the base, I just move it up to the buttons when I'm going to press them. But no matter where my thumb is on that side, it feels good. On the other side, we have a subtle inward curve that allows the little finger a place to rest and grip, and it feels like there's just enough of a curve at the end for the ring finger to lift the mouse and also relax. Then the grooves in the buttons? They're not deep, but they feel good and give you the extra surface area to press down on, making button presses feel better than a flat surface. The backs of my fingers are rested over the top of the mouse, but the back doesn't actually touch my palm in my current grip. So for me, it's mostly about shape, balance, and weight. As long as the sensor is good enough, those are the three most important factors for aiming in FPS, in my opinion. And the shape and balance are great on the EC series. And the weight is good at 93 grams for the EC2. But strangely, the white version of the EC1 is about 100 grams, whereas the previous version was about 96. Here are some comparisons with other mice so you know the basic size of them. The EC1A is of course bigger than the EC2A. The button slope is gradual, and the hump is in the middle. These are suitable for all grip styles, it just depends on your hand size. The EC2 grip width is about 5.6cm, and the EC1 is about 61 It depends where you place your thumb. And the lengths are about 121 on the EC2, and 12.8, maybe 13 on the EC1. Both heights are about 4cm. I recommend the EC2A for people with 19 by 9.5cm hands, and the EC1 for people with 21 by 10.5 I think they would be ideal for aiming with those sizes, but they can still suit other hand sizes, of course, as you see by the size guide. Moving on to the buttons, here is a listen to the clicks between the old and new versions. There have been a lot of complaints about Huano switches being too tight, but I've used a lot of mice, most of which had Omron switches, and many actually felt tighter than these. So maybe it's the shell causing the tightness. On these new white versions, even with the Huano switches, they feel lighter. I still think they need to be separate from the shell, but I can't imagine people thinking these are too tight. The scroll wheel has a fairly good click, but I'm still not a fan of the 16 step wheel, in game or in browsing. The side buttons feel a bit better, but they still have too much travel, and are a bit flimsy. But Zowie know of these concerns, and they're working on them. The DPI button is on the base, out of the way. In the latency testing, they seem fairly similar to the G403, just slightly slower. No problems in game for me using them. The sensor is still the 3310, but as I use the FK2 as my main mouse, I have no problem with that. Some say they can feel the 3360 being smoother, but I don't agree. Zooming in, it tracks pixel by pixel, and quite smoothly. So sniper and tracking aim is on point. I don't have an accurate test, but it doesn't seem like there's acceleration on this sensor. Liftoff distance is 1 DVD on cloth, 2 on hard pads, but that can be changed. Just hold in mouse 4 with the left or right button, or both while plugging it in. And there's no delay as far as I'm aware. In the line test it performs just as well as the 3366, no problems at all. For the build when tapping it, it sounds fine, and when shaking it, there's almost no rattle at all. Just a little bit on the scroll. The cable is thicker than the one on the FK, but still smooth and flexible and about 7 feet or 2.1 meters long. 
and they have the same two large mouse feet which glide smoothly. They should come with a replacement set in the box. No software on these, to rebind the buttons you must do it in game. So, in conclusion, the EC series is still one of my favourite. I always enjoy using them and can play extremely well. I'm using the Zowie FK2 these days because it is slightly smaller, and that means I am just a bit better with it. Plus, because it's ambidextrous, I think it might be a bit more balanced. That's a fingertip grip mouse though. If you're using claw or palm, you might want to stick to the EC series. The new white coat looks cool and feels great. I've really enjoyed using it, but Zowie tell me it will be a limited offer, so hopefully you can get one before they're all gone. The good news is the new shipments of the black version should be similar to this. So no loss if you miss out, you just won't get the glossy coat or the white shell. These are a great choice anyway. So a big thanks to Zowie for getting me these copies early. If you want to help support the channel, I'll leave the usual links in the description. And as always, subscribe, share, like this video, and I'll catch you in the next.